So I'm just about to marinate cauliflower. <laughs> what I'm going to do for dinner tonight is a spicy buffalo cauliflower and then we're going to have this in wraps with salad and I'm probably going to make like a yogurt mint dressing to cool it down a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop this up using the smallest knife in the world <laughs> and I'm going to pop this in my marinade. I've just bought a sauce to go on it. Um, I think I'm going to cook the cauliflower in my air fryer because I have done it like that before. I, I don't think I'm going to bother. Sometimes I do it in corn flour as well to make it like crispy breaded. But because we're having it in wraps, I don't think the extra step is worth it because you're probably not going to notice a whole lot of difference. Um, so I'm just going to cut this into florets. <laughs> sauce I'm using it's red buffalo wing sauce I did want to use Frank's but they didn't have any so I'm just going to pour this all over the cauliflower and leave it to sit for a couple of hours until we want to eat it flour in the air fryer for I'm going to start it off for 15 minutes on 180 and then we will shake it and see the onion and tomato nine. puree I'm going to make that as my base some salad and then a bit of collie on it yeah yeah I don't know if this is good I'm going to go one tomato puree base I'm going to go one yogurt base I'm just going to go one, and one that I feel and then <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest we can just have a disaster yeah no So here is my wrap. I've gone, we've got some white and some wholemeal, but I've done my white one first. But I'm thinking, looking at it, I'm only going to end up with one. So I've put some plain soy alternative to yogurt. Not because we don't eat normal yogurt, but we just much prefer this to normal yogurt. We've got lettuce, cucumber, red onion, some cherry tomatoes. We've got our really nice crispy buffalo cauliflower bites. Coriander, I'm going to squeeze some lime juice, some salt, we've got some jalapenos and we've also got some chilli jam, tomato puree and that if we need it but this is what I'm having in mine. And the siren's snoring. <laughs> A really quick cheats dinner tonight, I've chopped up some gammon steaks, these were in the freezer and all I did was, it was pack of two, solid frozen, solid frozen, <laughs> frozen solid and I just put them in some lukewarm water for about 10 minutes and they defrosted and then I've chopped them up, put them in a pan, crisped them up a bit. Now I'm just going to add a sort of bowl of frozen sweet corn and I'm going to add some spices, well not spices, just some flavouring. I've got some onion granules and some smoked paprika and then I've actually got a couple of packets of the tilde rice. I think I've got coconut or katsu curry, I've not decided which one I'm going to use yet. And then I've got three eggs whisked up in here with some salt and pepper. I'm basically just making a really quick cheats egg fried rice. So sweet corn, gammon, rice, egg. Once your gammon's defrosted, it's going to take about 10 minutes from start to finish. So I'm going to sprinkle one-handed. Why do they always go everywhere when the lids are like this? It's very annoying. A bit of onion granules. Some smoked paprika. 
and then I'm going to add in my pouches of rice let that coat in like the oil and things and then add my egg and we're done got our coconut rice I've gone with coconut I think I'm not sure if curry would go with gammon I'm sure it would but they're going in there they're going to be mixed around and I just like to let the oil coat the rice a little bit and then I'm going to pop my egg through taste it make sure it doesn't need any more seasoning and serve it up and then we've got various sauces we could add sriracha over the top we've got some lime juice coriander if anyone wants it to be a little bit more of a mexican style fusion um we've also got some sweet chili sauce as well so see what everyone fancies at the end so i've added my egg and i'm going to kind of let it sit like an omelette so it solidifies I know if you watch my videos regularly you'll hear me say it all the time uh, but that's the way I do it loads of people do it differently I like to mix my egg in because it coats all the grains of rice individually well pretty much um, but if you mess it around too much now then it'll all disappear so I let it sit for a bit my little salt and pepper things that I can't rave about enough <laughs> they're from Amazon I will try and leave them linked in the description not sponsored I think they're brilliant um, if you have heard about them already then I promise I will stop going on about them soon but let me know if you've bought them and what you think because they are so good and that was the dog yeah so I'm just going to move this around very slightly just to let it kind of egg cook in places where there's heat and then we're going to serve it out so here we are served up just a basic dinner really quick really simple and it tastes very good okay so I'm just starting a Chinese style potato and vegetable curry so i've got a load of potatoes because i want to make a really big one so i've got leftovers i've just chopped them up washed them um chopped them up their skin on i've got three white and one red onion because that's what i've got around i wanted to make this massive i may add a couple more potatoes um, but i didn't want to do what i did the other day and overfill my slow cooker if you can't hear me very well it's because the kettle's boiling it will stop in a minute so i've got potatoes onions I am going to use a big chunk of garlic, this is just frozen garlic but it will obviously defrost as I cook it. To this we are going to add about a teaspoon of salt, I'm going to add some mild tandoori curry powder and I'm also going to add some of this Chinese curry sauce which I get from Tesco, they do do it in Sainsbury's, you can also get it on Amazon. It's like the authentic Chinese tasting curry. It comes in a paste. And I'm actually just going to use, like, plop this in. You're supposed to prepare it first, but I'm going to pour boiling water on top of this as well. I think I'm going to add a little bit of medium curry powder as well to this. And I wanted to put peas in it because I love it with peas, but I haven't got any. <laughs> so I'm going to put some green beans in there, some frozen ones, and black pepper maybe a fresh chilli and then I'm just going to stick it on for like six hours I'm going to start it off on my high setting I've got high low and warm so I'm just going to start off on my high setting um, I'm going to pour the green beans in have my medium curry powder as well because I don't think that paste is enough for the amount I'm making just to throw it all together kind of vegetable curry really I might add some sweet corn I don't think I've got any carrots otherwise I'd add some but I'm gonna have a look what I've got in the fridge that needs using and I have got a couple more potatoes in the sink if I've got room if you wanted your green beans to stay crunchy obviously you would put them in near the end of cooking I'm not that fussed to be honest I think it'll all cook together really nicely I'm just going to mix that through so that that curry paste, that big block, dissolves. So I've thrown in another couple of potatoes. I've also put one veg stock cube in just for some flavour. The last of that bag of corn. We've got one package of tender stem broccoli. And I should probably stop there <laughs> because it is not all going to fit. The only other thing I'm going to throw in is a fresh chilli. But yeah, we're just going to stick the lid on and hopefully that cooks down a bit. So here is my curry finished off. So this is the next day. This is how much we've got left. So I've got two tubs. Steve and I had it for dinner last night. And I've also managed to get like two soup containers out of it as well. So quite a lot. 
it was really really good i didn't need to add anything else after the original ingredients we just put a little bit of salt and pepper on as we served it really good it's thickened up a bit today as well but i'm going to put one of these in the freezer and one of them in the fridge so we can have it again today after night's dinner we've got some pizza these are the chicago town stuffed crust they've got like a tomato stuffed crust and then I've just done some pear, some sugar snap peas, some cucumber carrots and a few Doritos on the side. So this is what we have tonight. So for dinner tonight I have done some tandoori chicken thighs. This is Bailey's, our 16 year old, so that's why it's massive. So we've got tandoori chicken thighs, I've done those in the air fryer. I've done some homemade wedges, which obviously I did in the oven just with some spray oil. Got a little bowl of grated cheese some wraps and some hummus and there is also a big bowl of salad that everyone can help themselves to to fill up the wraps with so this is what we're all having tonight although not all quite as big For dinner tonight we have got gammon egg and some homemade like, kind of chip wedge things basically i did a jacket potato in the microwave chopped it up sprayed it with some oil popped it in my air fryer for about 20 minutes we've got the gammon that we've done on the grill as always and it looks amazing two eggs one which i broke which always happens and this is what we have for our dinner tonight did you make it did you break free did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. 